well, you know, a little hygiene is not such a bad thing. <laughs> As a start, decent haircut, you know, certain amount of cleanliness. That's a good thing. What's rule one in the first book? Stand up straight with your shoulders back. That's a good thing to do. You know, what do women look for? Depends on the wisdom of the woman, obviously. But, well, it does, because, you know, you can, narcissists can fool naive women. That's why narcissists propagate, by the way. And we know this, because narcissistic psychopaths, young women are more likely to fall for narcissistic psychopaths. And the reason for that is they can't tell them from competent men. Because narcissistic psychopaths imitate competence. And that's their niche. And so they have a confidence that isn't justified by their ability. But the women check out the confidence as a marker of ability, and the falsely confident can fool them. Especially if they're young and naive. And so, well... So let's say you're not going to be a narcissistic psychopath, which is often what those, like, manosphere dating sites teach you. It's like, you know, wear an expensive watch and peacock a bit. And to peacock is to wear something, some item of clothing that's, you know, a little bit out of the ordinary, something a little bit more colorful than might be generally the case, so that you look like you're confident enough to pull that off with panache. But mostly it's just... It's just training in a kind of deceptive narcissism. Now, you know, a wallflower guy might benefit from some training in, in narcissistic psychopathy, you know, just to sort of balance them out a bit. So you can make some progress forward. That's why people like Andrew Tate are so popular. And, and I, I'm not saying that in in an entirely dismissive manner, but there's a huge danger there. But generally what women want is something like confident, productive generosity, fundamentally. And so, you know, if that's allied with physical attractiveness and a sense of humor and, you know, the, the sorts of features that a man would also look for in a woman, so much the better. But your basic bet, and I, my suspicions are the guy who answered this question is probably young, First of all, no one likes young men, so if they don't, women don't like you, it's like, well, that's par for the course. Who likes young men? No one. Why? Well, they're basically troublesome and useless, and so that's why. <laughs> so cross-culturally, women like men who are about four years older than them, and the reason for that is, you know, women are more vulnerable on the sexual front, and they have to make themselves even more vulnerable if they have children, especially when the children are infants, and so they're looking for guys who are competent enough to be able to take care of themselves, at least, and then have enough left over for a wife and a dependent child. And not because exactly because the wife wants to be taken care of, because it isn't exactly like women want to be taken care of. It's more reciprocal relationship, but if a woman has a dependent child, then both of them have to be taken care of, especially when the child's an infant. And so women tilt the scales toward assessment of men on the grounds of their competent generosity and the reason and you know men might be annoyed about that but I would say well if you were a woman you would do the same thing and you know how I know that it's because women are female humans and so if you were a woman you'd be just like a woman so because that's what a, that's what a woman is right so you can't blame women it's like clue in there buddy if all women don't like you, it's you. <laughs> and that's, you know, that's so annoying. It's especially if you're young, because most women aren't going to like you. And so, and it is you. So you have to grow up. And, but then, you know, you got to understand that if you make yourself competent and productive and generous and a little bit socially skilled and reasonably clean, eventually, you know, you'll fool someone. And then... <laughs> And then, you know, might take a few years, but, but generally it happens. So, so that's the thing, is don't, you know, don't, don't be a fool. Turn yourself into someone who's worth being around. And, and then develop enough social skills so you advertise yourself genuinely.